In this problem, I'm going to calculate the molar solubility of the barium chromate compound. It gives me the KSP value here, so we know that this is an insoluble salt. And when we say insoluble, that doesn't mean that none of it dissolves, but some of it will. So we write the formula, Ba, um, CrO4, that's a solid, and this is the, the solution of it into barium 2 plus aqueous plus chromate aqueous. So this equilibrium will occur, and when it does and reaches equilibrium, we know that KSP would be the barium concentration times the chromate concentration. I will encourage you to always write that law of mass action, that equilibrium constant expression, when you are dealing with these compounds. A lot of times people will get used to these problems and they'll start skipping steps, and that's okay until you come across something a little different and it throws you off. So we're going to put some, sometimes people put excess there, into water so there's no, uh, none of these yet available. Some of it will dissolve. I use an S there because that stands for molar solubility, how much of the barium chromate dissolves. For every one of those that dissolves, you will have one of these and one of these. Now only a tiny bit dissolves, so we still would have some of that solid in there and we'd have S and we would have S. Now we can take this expression and plug in what we know. We have 2.1 times 10 to the minus 10 for KSP and the barium's concentration is represented by an S. The chromate's concentration is represented by an S, so that would be S squared. And that would give me a molar solubility of 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5. Now that's pretty straightforward. Um, molar solubility problem. In the next video, you're going to see what we're going to do by adding a common ion, and that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated.